All right, folks, so welcome back to the show. The 2023 FIBA World Cup in Japan, the Philippines, and right here, of course, Indonesia is nearing the end of the first round. The teams competing in the Indonesia arena are also the big favorites to become champions this year. And defending champions Spain have been successful thus far, remaining unbeaten in the Group G. And some teams have even made histories. And now we have our, well, I mean, in U.S., we have Kobe. And maybe in France, we have Tony Parker. And right here in Indonesia, we have pro player Mario Wusang in the studio. Not once. He's already here a couple of times right in the studio. So thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, thank you for having me. Definitely. So um, you've been to the games. Yeah. What do you think about Indonesia Arena, first and foremost? Um, it's a beautiful arena. Right. You know, international. Finally. Standard. Finally. We have this so, kind of like, stadium. It, it's amazing. It's amazing to have... Uh, the, the eyes of basketball globally here in Indonesia. Right. So how do you like the entertainment, though? I mean, it seems like we're watching, like, an NBA games, right? You have oh, the Jumbotron, you have the entertainments and whatnot, so... And also, the spectators, what do you think about them? Oh, it's amazing. We have world-class athletes, you know, NBA players. Um, yeah. The support, you know, Latvia brought half the I country, know. you know. Yeah. It's, it's, an, it's an amazing a atmosphere, and I'm glad I could be there you know all right definitely so let's talk about the games uh we're gonna take a look at the first game canada versus france game uh canada secured a commanding victory impressive 30 point lead what do you think about that game what happened to france i mean france i think they had some pressure on them you know uh, i think they were a little overconfident okay because you know we're like world class mm -hmm. they're up there you know they were in the finals against usa yeah um but I think Canada's hungry, you know, they're well coached, you know, even though they have a lot, seven NBA players. But Dylan Brooks got booed and got, he's still, <laughs> so, he's still dunking. Yeah, yeah, no, I think he plays a really big role for their team. You know, yeah. they play really good defense and I, I think they're, people have to, teams have to watch out for them. They could win the whole thing. Right. Uh, now we're going to go to the second game where um, France had faced Latvia. I mean, let's talk about Latvia first. Yeah. First time joining in FIBA World Cup. How do you think that, you know, so far they played? And they're pretty dominating, right? Yeah, I, I, they're well coached, again, disciplined team. They run a really good system. Um, I like their young point guard. I yes. think he, he's, he has a Is lot. Is it 66? Was his number 66? Uh, I think it's 55. Oh, right. Uh, he, I mean, he has a bright future. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think, and the fan support, you know, yes. they're playing for, for their country and I could see it in, in their players, you know, in the way they play. So huge support system, so yeah. yeah. We're going to talk about last game, or last night's game. Before that, though, uh, Latvia beat France, 86-88. Yeah. I mean, what happened? Again, do you think this is overconfidence from France side? I, I think coming into the tournament, France was overconfident, and then they lost to Canada. I think their morale was down, mm -hmm. and that kind of played a factor in right. going up against Latvia. You know, Latvia's, their, their, their chemistry is really good, so... Yeah, I, I knew it was going to be a tough game for France, and, you know, Latvia was able to pull it off. All right. So in group, now we're going to go shift to group G, where are uh, Brazil's versus Spain. Now, in the early game, both teams appear to be evenly matched, but of course we know who wins the game. Um, what do you think about that game? I mean, Brazil, you know, with the loss of Net, Neto, the, the guard, I mean, that yeah. was a, that's a tough loss because he plays a big role in it for their team. Um, but I, st I still think they're a dangerous team. They still have a chance. You know, they, I, l I really like their point guard, uh, Iago. Uh, he's, he's small like me, but, you know, he, he runs the team and the system really well. So, yeah, they're a tough team. So what do you think about Spain, though? Are there, do you think, I mean, of course, they're the champion last year, um, the last FIBA. Yeah, Spain championship pedigree, you know, mm -hmm. tradition. So that's going to carry over to, you know, every game they play in. It's really tough defense. They play. Their, their offense, their chemistry is amazing, well coached. Yeah. I mean, I think they have a chance to win the whole thing for sure. And what if they're going to uh, go against either Canada or Latvia? What would be your prediction? I, I could see Spain and Canada um, going up against each other there. And I think it's going to determine, like the last four minutes of the game is going to determine who, who's going to win. It's going to go down to the wire. Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think Spain's experience and chemistry is better than Canada, but Canada has more talent. So it's going to be an interesting dynamic to see that game. Has Canada been this tough, though? Uh, Canada's always had talent, but I don't think their chemistry has always been good historically. So that's where they, they kind of fell short historically. But yeah. they're hungry now. I think that, you know, with their talent and their coaching, this team, this particular team, mm -hmm. 
I, I could see them, their chemistry getting better and better each game. Yeah. And I think they have a chance to win the World Cup. All right. So you heard it first right here and see today with Mario Wusang. Now, today's also going to be a very fun game. It's Brazil with uh, Ivory Coast. It's a pivotal game for them, obviously. Ticket to the second round. Um, you know, who do you think that's going to dominate for this game? I, I see Brazil winning. Um, I just think they have their... They have more size, they have more talent, they have better guard play, in my opinion. So I do see them uh, winning against Ivory Coast. Yeah, and of course, uh, you know, let's talk about last night's game. We're gonna dissect this. We've saw Canada, I think, against France also, where the first, second quarter, they're kind of even out, or even the opponent are much way better than them. Like last game, uh, Latvia was up to 12 points for the first, I mean, the first half, and then they will catch up. Is that somewhat like their strategy, you think? I think Canada, Canada, they play really good defense, so right. they're, they're gonna wear on you, S similar to Spain. They're gonna continue to wear you down, wear you down every quarter. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a testament to their coaching staff, you know. Mm -hmm. They're not just talented, but they also play really good defense. Right, and what do you think about them in the first quarter? I think they already got a uh, team foul from Lavia. Do you think emotionally they're not, I mean, they're very skillful, uh, yeah. of course, but like, are they emotionally like stable? I. I for me, Canada, they're, they are very emotionally stable, you know. Right. Uh, each game, you kind of have to feel out how the refs are calling it, mm -hmm. whether they let you play or they're, you know, calling ticky tack fouls. And I think Canada, they really keep their emotions in check from right. what I've seen right. uh, versus other teams. So that might play a huge factor in, you know, how far they go. Yeah, what about Latvia, though? I mean, again, like I was saying, they're really good, skillful, yeah. but like... Team foul, like, in yeah. the first quarter. I think it's, you know, with the fan support that they have, their countries here, it, it's, it's, it is hard to keep your emotions in check because you you want to give everything to your country. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it almost feels like we're in Latvia. So yeah. I think that's that's difficult. Um, so, but they do have to keep it in check, you know. It, it's going to play a factor. And they're, like, young. They're the newbies, yeah, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Let's talk about the rules, Mario, because for me, um, this is my first time ever watching a FIBA game, and I was just blown away with some of the rules, like the ball when they're in the rims and can be tipped off by the other opponent and whatnot. So this is very different than NBA. Very different. Okay. So like, you know, in FIBA, if, if the ball is touching the rim, okay. the defense can tap it out, mm -hmm. but the offense can't tap it in. So it, it's, it, versus the NBA, you can't even touch it if it touch, touches the rim or is around the rim. Um, very different rules, and I think uh, some some teams, especially the Americans, yeah. um, are it, they're just not accustomed to it. So it's I'm not accustomed to it when watching that. I'm yeah, like, wow, right. like exactly. you can do that. It's very different, but um, it, it's it's an advantage, mm -hmm. you know, for these teams because they're used to playing like this. Um, so yeah, we'll see how how that plays a factor. What about other games that is playing right now in Manila and also in Japan with the other groups? Who do you think has the potential to you know lead in those groups? Well, I like Serbia. You know, they're they're three and zero right now, so I think they're a dangerous team. Again, uh, they run their system very well, well coached. Uh, Slovenia, mm -hmm. uh, obviously with Luka Doncic, he's and he's he, in shape too. He's in shape, <laughs> and it, 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 they kind of go uh, as far as he goes. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. he could he could go he could go for 40, 50 a, any given night. So they're dangerous. Um, mm -hmm. I, I like Australia. Australia's. They, I know they took a loss against Germany early, but. I mean, they're they're such a strong team. They're just going to continue to get better. It's, it's right. going to be dangerous. Yeah. So there's a lot of teams. Lot so of teams. who do you root to be the champion for this year's FIBA? For me, I think Australia has a big chance. Um, they have experience. They have talent. They have size. Um, so definitely, Australia is one of them. I can see Canada mm -hmm. being very dangerous. Right. Because their chemistry yeah. gets better and better each game, and they have a superstar, mm -hmm. SGA. I mean, he yeah. can he can take them. Uh, what about top, U.S. Sure. though? I mean, our squad with no, Austin Reeves and absolutely. like all those boys. You can never count U.S. out yeah. just on sheer talent alone. And actually, their coaching staff is a championship pedigree. You know, we, get, we have yes. you know uh, Steve Kerr, yes. Ty Lu, and uh, Spolstra. Yeah. yeah, so they're all champions. So yeah, definitely they have. They're gonna have a chance. Are you gonna sure. go to Manila for for the finals? I would like to, but I don't think I have time on this trip. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'll definitely be watching for sure. Like, and definitely we know that where you're contributing, especially to the, you know, basketball world, not only in America, but also right here in Indonesia, you're trying to find new talents and hopefully you're coaching them and you can, you know, have all these players coming back to Indonesia to support our Indonesian squad. 
Do you think or do you predict in the future, in the next four years, that Indonesia can be a part of FIBA World Cup? Well, that's definitely the goal. We always have to have that goal to, for us to be in the world stage. You yeah. know, we don't, we don't want to just host the mm -hmm. World Cup in these international events. We want to participate. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, we're on the right track to do that. You know, I brought one of my Royal Academy players here from the States, so mm -hmm. he, he's never been here. Um, his mother's Indonesian. So I, I just want to introduce him to the basketball environment and, you know, yeah. watch, let him watch the uh, World Cup firsthand. Right. And, you know. How do you think we can shape up our squad as of right now, preparing for the next four years to come? Well, we have to develop uh, them, the players here in Indonesia at a young age. I think that's very important. Grassroots, um, mm -hmm. you know, we have to develop their foundation and skill. Right. You know, so we can play at the world class level. It's not all about size all the time. It's about how skilled you are. You know, right. we look at Japan, we look at the Philippines, you know, they also, we're, we're not uh, too far mm -hmm. in size. We're similar in size, but the skill level I think is very different. Right. And that's what we have to create here to develop the skill of the local players. We can't always count on just naturalizing players. We right. need to develop our, you know, 11 yeah. guys on the roster, which is gonna be from. What about the mentality? I mean, I mean, you alone, you're very different than other local players here. When you were a yeah. pro player here in Indonesia, you have that mentality, that hunger for you to win and whatnot. Uh, you never see opponent as an obstacle. And it's very different, I think, how Indonesian very it's their nature yeah. to be like that, yeah. right? How can we shift our mentality, especially our athletes, to be having like what you had, yeah. or maybe Arki and Arki Wisnu had? Right, right. So no, a part of skill development is also mental development. Um, that's, you know, it doesn't matter what how big you are physically or you know what your deficiencies are physically, but yeah. it's a mental game. You know, basketball is to me it's 90, 90 10 mental to physical. So mm -hmm. developing the skill as well as the mental is very important and. I want to bring that over here and you know develop these players not just on their skill level but mental. Is that what you're doing with your role basketball? Oh, absolutely. Academy? I mean, you you know you you're from the states. You understand. You know, it's just it's a different environment. It's very competitive mm -hmm. um, in every, in any environment, but in basketball for sure. That's how I was able to develop quickly. Right. You know, even, even me being small in that environment, for me, I had to be tough mentally. And the way we train. It's very different than here. Mm -hmm. That kind of builds your mental toughness at a young age. So yeah, definitely. But do you think that right now, as of current, our you know our athletes or maybe the basketball industry itself had shift or had developed? You see more basketball courts. You've seen a lot of spectators wanting to watch the basketball games, even for the IBL, yeah. not for FIBA alone. I think I think they've improved, mm -hmm. but we still have a long way to go, and there's still a lot of room for us to to, to improve to yeah. grow. And you know, I want to be a part of that development for sure, and help in many different aspects for sure. Yeah, yeah. There's always room to improve, you know. And everyone is always—I mean, you are a legend here, by the way, always and forever. Um, you know, people always want to be like seeing you. They feel very empowered to see you, and they want to be like you. And then now to be like you, you can also wear something that you wear also. Talk about your merch right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you know, people know me here as Uncle Ro. Yes. So, you know, you are is the, is the brand. Okay. Um, we're working with Juada. Um, so we're coming out with the line. Mm -hmm. um, so just be on the lookout for that. It's, it's sportswear, casual okay. sportswear. So yes. where can you find it? Like in socials and? Uh, yeah. It, We'll have the information for you soon, but it's Ah, he's very secretive right now. That's Coming cool. Out real soon, yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Mario. Well, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your days here, and we're going to see you in the Indonesia Arena, and hopefully sure. the last game will be on Sunday. Yeah, I'll be Do there. Do you know which team that's going to be? We already know right as of right now. Yeah, I mean, projected to Canada right. uh, versus Spain. So right. that's that's a game I'll definitely be at. It's going to be an exciting game. So. It's going to be full pack, jam pack, just like the first day of FIBA World Cup right here in Indonesia Arena. And that was Mario Wusang. Thank you so much for Thank being you. with you, uh, you. here with us. Definitely we're going to see you in the arena. And hopefully that you guys also, basketball fans out there, you felt, um, you know, growth and very inspired by Mario. And hopefully if you want to be a basketball player, you can also follow his footsteps and also the footsteps of other athletes also. All right, then we'll have more interesting stories later on in our show. So stay tuned right here on The Sea Morning Show. We'll be right back.